In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a post gallery that will be filterable by the categories of the posts. So I found this example online on W3Schools, which is a website that everybody knows, of course. And the example just uh, takes some code. And let's just look into the try it yourself. And you can see how it's built. It's just some buttons. And each button uh, filters the different kinds of tiles later on. And uh, it filters them by the class. So each uh, column over here has a class. And if it's nature, it will show only the nature ones. So it's some simple JavaScript. And I'm going to show how to create this into an Elementor widget. So I'm going inside of my WordPress website. And the first thing you're going to want to do is create posts, of course, which will be used later on for those tiles and that will be filterable. And each one of these posts has a category. I assigned them a category. So some of them are summer and some of them are winter. And of course, each one has a fe featured image that will show in the tiles later on. The tool I'm using is Unlimited Elements, of course, and I'm in a category, in an empty category that I called my widgets. I'm going to click Add Widget, and I'm going to call this Filter Post Gallery. I'm going to click Tab and Add Widget. It adds an empty widget. I'm going to double click on that widget and go into Attributes. In Attributes, I'm going to add two different types of attributes. The first one will be used for creating our menu. So for that, I'm going to use post terms. Post terms is something that's called taxonomies. Most of you are probably familiar with that. And what we're going to do now is create a sort of loop that will loop all the different categories or whatever else you want. Any other taxonomy is supported, of course, even custom ones. Uh, so you can uh, loop categories, you can loop tags, you can loop anything else. And in title, I'm just going to call this, let's call it filters, because it's going to be used for the filter. The second attribute I'm going to add is going to be post list. Now, this is going to be used for creating uh, our tiles, our posts that we want to filter later on. So let's just call this posts because that's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so in a post example, I'm going to select one of the posts from our posts list, which is called Nula. Let's select that. And we it's super important because we're going to use post categories. I'm going to select use post category. I'm gonna click add attribute and jump into the HTML. Perfect. Inside of the HTML, first thing we want to do is create our filter menu. So right over here, this is the attribute that we created with the post terms. I'm going to click on that. And what this does, it generates a loop. Now in our loop, the only two things we're going to need from this list, this is all the types of stuff you can loop. But the only stuff I'm going to need or the only two attributes I'm going to need are the slug and the name. So this is going to be the name of the category and the slug of the category. And I'm going into our code example. I'm going to copy this whole menu, which is this part, this cool me filterable menu. I'm going to copy that and go back inside. I'm going to paste that down here. Now over here, what we want to loop are these three or how many uh, you will have. In our case, it's only two. The reason I'm leaving the first one, it's, it's because it's a show all button and in the JavaScript, what it does, it just shows all the classes. So we don't need to touch that one. What we want to loop is all the other ones that are going to come in dynamically. So let's just separate them and bring inside our loop. This is our loop. We want to loop it right after the first one, the all button. Inside of our loop, I'm just going to take one button. Don't need more than one. And I'm going to delete the other two. 
So what's going on over here right now is we have a loop that's uh, bringing in this HTML and these fields. Let's just paste in the fields in the correct place. So instead of nature, we want it to populate automatically. And instead of the uh, class name over here, we want it to bring in the category slug. Perfect. So we got that set up and our menu is ready. Let's click update and let's test this out. So I'm going to go into pages, add new, edit with Elementor. And over here, let's search for our filter post gallery. And I'm going to drop this inside. Perfect. So show all button, as we said before. And summer and winter is our loop. It's coming from our loop. It's coming in dynamically. Because over here we have post selected and category taxonomy selected. And this is exactly what we wanted. A filter for our gallery. Next step. Next step in our case is bringing in the items. We want to start bringing in the items. So to bring in the items, I'm going over here, down here. I'm scrolling down. And as you can see, each item in our case is a column. So it's from here to here. And it's wrapped. All of these are wrapped in a sort of row or something like that. So let's just copy the first one. We only need the first one because we're creating a loop. And let's just uh, close our row tag. And I actually pasted that in the wrong place. I need to paste it up here. And we need to take only the item and click put items. What this does is it creates the loop. So we have our loop wrapper. And down here, we put in the loop HTML. On the right side, item posts is our post list. And this brings all the fields from the post and creates a loop from them. So let's see what we can replace over here. So in the source image, let's open this up, show all fields. And you can see there is a post image. We're gonna replace that. Let's replace the post title as well. And let's do the intro text. Perfect. Last thing we were going to want to do, which is super important, is our slug category. And this is what connects the, um, actually connects uh, the term slug with the category slug. So let's scroll down over here, category slug. So when clicking on this button, it will filter all of the columns with this class. Perfect going to click update and two more steps before testing this out again are the CSS and JavaScript which we left empty and now we can just copy them from the example so over here down here at the end we have a script which is a JavaScript I'm going to paste that oops I pasted it in CSS and let's go for our CSS click update and I'm going into our example I'm gonna make sure I'm saved before refreshing and I'm going to refresh the page perfect so you can see it's bringing in all the items and we have a filter and I'm gonna click preview and let's see what happens cool so summer has filtered out all our summer tiles winter is filtering out all our winter tiles show all is bringing out all the tiles now you can see that we have sort of a problem over here because uh, each image is a different size and i like these kind of problems and solving them because this is what happens in real life and i don't want to show a fake situation i want to show a real situation so let's go back into the html and see what we can do so usually what we do in this case i'm just gonna add a div And instead of this image, uh, let's do, let's give it a style. 
in a background image URL and over here we can change our image to be inside now a div is automatically with 100% so we don't need that we also do not need an alt and uh, but what we do want is maybe to have a height so we can add height to that maybe that's too much perfect I think that's good let's test this out by refreshing okay not bad not bad so it's looking better what I'm going to add is background size cover so let's go for background size cover we're over here perfect now the images look good